Hello, welcome to game two of this medium games match between Kedra and Jackdaw. Um, Jackdaw won the first game in a close one. Let's see what we're doing in game two. So our end state is looks to be provinces. That's how we're, we're scoring our victory points is with provinces. Um, you know, with tournament, there's some incentive to get early provinces. So um, you might want to try to get an early province with... Um, Good thinning, sacrifice, loan, masquerade, steward, bounty hunter, butcher. So a lot of these cards that um, I would consider opening bounty hunter, steward, bounty hunter, masquerade, something like that to get very, very thin. Um, I think I want to get a butcher fairly soon. Um, actually getting a cobbler, cobbler or two in this game seems okay. Um, notably, there's no village effect here other than um, the prize, the trusty seed. Uh, so you may be playing mostly without villages here. Um, unless you're going to try to like sacrifice Faithful Hound or something, which seems difficult to do. So that's one of the reasons I like Bounty Hunter here as my, my terminal. I think you can probably play with one Faithful Hound early. Open like Faithful Hound Butcher, it seems better than nothing. Um, Jackville opts for Mask over Steward, which I think is okay. Um, the advantage to Steward Bounty Hunter is that I'm guaranteed not to collide them, or if I collide them, I can trash. I'm not going to play the steward for draw the first shuffle, so I don't have a chance of drawing my bounty hunter dead. Um, and it looks like Jackdaw will avoid that anyways. Um, you know, here you can um, bounty hunt the estate and buy something. I'm not 100% sure what that something is. Uh, in kingdoms where you want an early province for tournament, it sometimes makes sense to get like an early gold to try to spike that. I think it makes more sense to me to get a Butcher here. Um, butcher lets you build up the coffers, um, and Butcher will be a better card in the deck later on in the game. You can Butcher Estates, you can Butcher Masquerades, uh, you can Butcher any of the other random... <laughs> you can Butcher Tournaments later, since Tournament's not going to be particularly good once your opponent has a bunch of provinces. The reason I like Cobbler is it lets you grab the turn at the beginning of the turn, um, if you have a province coming in, for example. Um, or if you don't, you can grab a steward or a bounty hunter or something, something else. I guess they may be considering setting aside a copper and hoping, because they only want to hit five. If they're not, if they're not going to try to hit a gold. They could set aside a copper to try to hit five, um, and then try to trash the estates to masquerade. But I think, I think here you just set aside the estate and, um, you, you'll probably trash an estate next turn of masquerade. So. You won't have that many opportunities to bounty hunt estates. They'll be gone pretty quickly, and then you can bounty hunt a copper next next shuffle. Um, I, so yeah, as I said, I like the cobbler here. Um, they already have one terminal in a small deck. Um, the cobbler can gain them things that they can use, um, but also butcher is a very very strong card. Kato can play way of the squirrel here um, to guarantee draw five coppers butcher estate next turn, so they can butcher the estate into something and. A three or four cost, and then buy a five or five or six cost, which would be a nice turn. Um, probably, I will. I would play play Faithful Hound as um, Way of the Squirrel, and then just pass turn. Um, I think that because that ended up being the worst worst of all possible worlds. It was unlucky, but I think they could have could have avoided it with the Squirrel play. Um, and then, yeah, with, with they could get like a, a silver and a gold or a tournament and a cobbler, something like that, um, in the line I described. So I assume we're just swapping estates, trashing an estate. Um, and I think here you can just get, pick up your tournament. Um, tournament's a card you're going to want to have. Um, you're not that far off from province, um, especially with... with um, Bounty hunter around, it becomes becomes more possible. I'm starting to wonder if these decks kind of want it alone. That masquerade and bounty hunter together are a little bit slow. Butcher's a little bit slow. I feel like the bounty hunter steward opening gets thin much faster, and maybe it 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 doesn't do stuff along the way. So the the current deck that they're playing would be a little bit further ahead. But um. Yeah, it's it's. I, I thought loan would be crazy, but the way you know, masquerade loan don't have the negatives, and they just seem to have a lot of coppers here. Um, I would save these two coffers always and not trash 
and then buy another tournament. Um, again, those two coffers make it very, very likely you can spike spike six this turn. It looks almost guaranteed for Jackdaw to hit six this turn and could have gotten a province this turn. Um, as I almost guaranteed they draw two coppers here, I think. So they could have gotten a province this turn. Um, what did Katra draw? Sacrifice, Mask, Butcher. I would have considered sacrificing the Mask there to give plus two cards, plus two actions. Um, you could always buy one back later if you desperately need it. Uh -huh. So we don't have a Copper yet in Exile, so I think we're always just going to Bounty Hunt Copper, um, play the Masquerade and Trash. I think there's, an, there's their tournament down there, is that right? Um, so they'll draw something dead, but it looks like they would have only hit five this turn. Depending on the, the exact masquerade details between the two players. Okay, they only end up hitting four this turn. So if they had the two coffers, it wouldn't have made the difference. Um, and I guess if they were deck tracking, they could have known that. Um, it, again, it depends on the mask, two masquerade plays back and forth. So it's, it's complicated. Here again, I'm saving these coffers now that I have bounty hunted a copper in an estate. It's a lot harder for me to spike eight without using these two coffers. Um, so the second tournament seems reasonable to me. Third tournament. Um, again, your opponent doesn't feel close to buying province. So you're not that concerned about having too many tournaments. And you could always bounty hunt them or butcher them later for value. Um, and I think getting access to... Trusty Steed ends up being the first thing I want to buy. Um, and then after that, it's um, it's a race between followers and princess. Um, usually always it's one of these three. Um, and I think Trusty Steed sometimes is overly purchased. Um, and by that, I mean people will buy Trusty Steed when... Gain Trusty Steed when, when followers or princess is better. There are no attacks on this kingdom. So followers is good. <laughs> there are... Um, no plus buys on this kingdom. So princess is very good. That being said, butcher is a gain. And if you have, um, if you have trusty seed, you can either play two butchers or play like a mask and a butcher in the same turn. So, um, I think in terms of that trusty steed is the best one here. Um, and I think you have to play this masquerade. Um, I know you're hitting six otherwise, but um, I, I just want to keep trashing and thinning to a lot to, to line up my good stuff. Um, uh, never mind. Never mind whatever I said. Way of the Squirrel was better than what I said. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think Catra is uh, is A little bit unfortunate 5-2 opening. Um, I think... I wonder if there's an argument to be made with the Butcher deck just getting a loan and a Bounty Hunter and then not going for Mask at all. Um, I think the Sacrifice probably doesn't make much sense to me. And... Yeah, um, here Jackal can pause. I was not actually playing, so I could think about the prizes for a minute while they were, they were clicking cards and having to play. Um... Pretty clear to me that Trusty Seed is the best, um, especially because Ketra doesn't have a province yet. Um, you're very likely to get a second second prize, um, and either of these two are very nice prizes. Um, with followers, probably it's, it's really close between followers and princess to me here. Um, I think I'm probably not building the double province even with six cost provinces, so probably followers is is the way to go. Um, also notably, we have uh, we have masquerade. So, like getting a super thin deck that's just golds and provinces with a couple of key pieces is not great. I think I think Jackal's looking to butcher a, butcher an estate here into something. Although I would just exile the estate, gain the two coffers, and gain another province. 
Um, the that's strange. Why didn't they play the bounty hunter? I don't see any reason not to have played the bounty hunter in this turn. You want to get rid of your coppers and your estates. Oh, to get... Huh. I, I don't think you need another tournament in this deck. They've got a lot of tournaments already. Um, and as catcher, I'm very concerned about adding more tournaments to the deck. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they realize you can't butcher nothing. You could not, if you do, plus two coffers is first, then you may trash a card. So in the best case scenario, you don't have to trash a card. Uh, this is not trivial to me. You've got two terminals, Masquerade and Butcher, already. Um, so, and you've got only, you're only ever going to get two actions. And I don't know if I'm taking prizes here yet. Um, maybe it doesn't matter the state that this game is in. Jackdaw seems far enough ahead that they can take a Duchy, but it seems like it will start to be annoying. Um, start to be annoying to have lots of green cards in hand. Like I really only want to be greening with provinces because Masquerade is around. Um, again, they are far enough ahead that perhaps it does not matter. Bag of gold is not something I would have considered. Hmm. They took the followers. They took they took the followers and didn't play it. That also seems really strange. I think the attack and the curse are quite worth it. And you've got a bounty hunter, a butcher, to uh, and a masquerade to get rid of rid of those. But I think the 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 followers attack is just gonna be brutal on, on Kaitra's bigger deck. And I'm I'm bounty hunting coppers at every chance I get. So here as Jack, I would uh, pursue Trusty Steed. And then probably pursue it again. Because basically, I want my two term, my, my first two cards of every turn to be trusty steed and followers. It's annoying that you actually have to type trusty steed in if you're playing the game, but all right. So that worked out quite well. They're gonna get a fairly clean shuffle with trusty steed on top. Catra, quite unfortunately, has the two faithful hounds in a turn where their opponent. Oh, they did. They did actually. Look, so they were able to set aside the faithful hounds, but they're not able to do much else in this turn. So it uh, it looks to be fairly over here, unfortunately for um, for Ketra. I'm probably bounty hunting something here. I guess you can bounty hunt the province now. You've got enough provinces, you know. Importantly, don't bounty hunt all your provinces if you're trying to do tournament stuff. But since they're not trying to do tournament stuff, uh, tournament stuff revealing provinces, you're probably okay. So bounty hunting a province, and they can do it at the end of the turn as well. I can also bounty hunt Copper's estates, um, and honestly, the Masquerade can go. Uh, I. I I don't know. I, I mean, I think opening Bounty Hunter Steward, you just get thin faster. Um, and even if your opponent has more payload than you and spikes in early province, your deck should just be in much better state there. Um, so they can Bounty Hunt the province and then butcher the Masquerade into a silver, buy a province. Actually, they don't even need to butcher it. Into, and yeah, buy a province and save two coffers for next turn. Um, I mean, there are masquerades, so 50% VP is not technically um, viable on this kingdom, but practically speaking, with butchers, you can uh, you can get to 50% VP. Or yeah, they could. That was a better line than what I said. Nicely spotted. 
Um, and we know there's 10 VP in the, in the trash. Um, there's 46 VP. There's 80, um, 86 VP in the game. So 43 is half VP, but it's actually only 30, uh, 38. Jackal was pretty close to that, um, getting there in a turn or two. And they were going to end provinces, I think. So a fair design from Catcher. I think the, the 5 2 split was quite a bit worse. Um, there are a couple of different lines they could have taken early. Um, and they had some some unfortunate collision, um, certainly in a lot of their shuffles. Um, I liked Jack's play um, as well, although, again, they started with the better split. So um, we'll move on to game three.